everybody, this is Matt Man from Matt Man's Adventures here. I am here with Tony, who is you're the owner, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. The owner and manager of Nightmare Sphere Factory. Last time, Tony, we talked about when the attraction was built. Would you talk a little bit about that again? And then we can talk about the legend. Yeah, so it was uh, built back in 1977 in uh, Maple Leaf Village, and then in 94 it moved over here. Um, so it was an old coffin factory. And so is, is it just this part that was a coffin factory, or was, was the restaurant part of it too? Um, the restaurant wasn't part of it. No. Okay. No, the restaurant was like something separate. So it. what's the legend behind the coffin? What happened? Yeah, well, I guess the guy's name was like Abraham, and uh, Abraham I guess some Warner? teenagers like knocked over some coffins and killed them. That's uh, yeah, it's kind of the gist. Right, a couple questions for you here, Tony. Have you ever sure. been in the attraction yourself? I have. Yeah. And uh, did you ever check out? You, yeah, for sure, man. Like the first three times I went in, I couldn't make it through. Okay, so. <laughs> well, that's Tony. We're gonna, Tony's actually going to be, so here's what's going to happen here, folks. Tony is going to be following me. He's going to be on camera. Right now, my dad's running the camera, but he's going to be videotaping me as we go through the haunt. I went through it again the last time I came. I almost made it through. There was a part where there was a claustrophobic thing, and I kind of got, it was a little too much for me at the time, but I have, I'm mentally prepared now. I'm ready. I'm going to get through this, and you guys are going to take along. So come on with me as we go in Nightmare Sphere Factory, right here in Niagara. So we're going into the attraction now. Follow me. So as you guys heard from earlier, hold on, I'm going to get up the stairs and I'll talk some more, I don't want to trip. So as you heard earlier, there was a guy named Abraham Mortimer that was part of, uh, that owned this place, the uh, Cadillac Coffin Factory this used to be. Is there any references to him? Well, let's find out. We're going to go in right now, and we're going to see what happens. There's a thunderstorm going on, I don't remember that being part of the vibe, but hearing about that. There's a baby crying. Where the heck is that coming from? Sorry, I'm not going to listen. Are you okay? Sorry, what was that? I don't know if I can help you, but I'll do my best. There's this coffin right here. Now, I wonder if this is where the man will escape. There's a button right here, so I'm going to press that. Oh, shoot. I think I made the mistake. I just need a minute here, folks. I'm kind of shaking, so... The actors are actually more, what's the word, interactive than they were before at this point. Last time I came here, they weren't very interactive. I guess Tony, the owner who's behind the camera, must have told them something that I was coming. I'm just... I don't know what they're saying. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute, and I'm gonna try to interact with them. Maybe they'll interact with me. Pardon? Pardon? I don't know what they're saying. There's a part coming up where there is a air cannon that'll spray in my face, so I'm trying to avoid that because last time I got through that part, uh... Oh my goodness, somebody's in here and somebody does not like me. Jesus! All right, that was the part that got me the most. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh yeah, there is. So I made it past the air compressor. That was the part that got me the most. I love that the actors are very, or well, whatever. Oh, don't go on my feet! Come on! Come on, really? Ah, they're, they're grabbing me like crazy. My pants are gonna fall down, guys. Seriously, be careful grabbing me. So these are the red lights that Tony was talking about. I don't know if Tony can show that. Wow, they're actually, uh... Sorry I'm going so slow, guys. I'm a little bit shaky here, so I gotta go easy. The last time I did a video going through here, I only made it to the air compressor, so I'm making it past that. Uh, just need a minute to breathe. Sorry, you guys. I, I thought I was gonna be more prepared. I'm still gonna make it through it, but it's just... My heart's racing, and... I wonder what my look was like on, on the on the camera screen thingy. It's more fun this way. Oh, this is it. This is it. Okay, good, good. I know where it is now. Okay. So I'm gonna take a breather for a minute, folks, and then we're gonna continue on. This is where I chickened out last time. I'm sorry I haven't talked as much during the attraction. There's been a lot going on, so just bear with me. But what's gonna happen here is they're gonna shut a door on me, the walls are gonna close in, and uh that's pretty much explanatory right there. I'm in it. Okay, I'm standing by the door. Okay, 
please start her up. I know you're going to, so just thank you. That's cool. Hold on a minute. I'm just bare. Wow, that's, that sounds cool. Tony, please just. Oh, is this like one of those uh, spinning tunnel things? Oh, this is the dog bridge. This is it, isn't it? I'd say at least five, six or seven attempts until I did it. <laughs> you so, did it, man. Uh, there is stuff you can see, and you'll see in the video, but that was pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and that was my adventure tonight. Was, that's all I can say. I had nothing else this good today, but except that was really cool, and I'd like to do it again. <laughs> but this time I love the camera, and yeah, I'd like to go through it a second time now that I know what happens. That was really cool, especially with the effects at the beginning. There was lots of cool effects. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And this is Matt Man starting off at Matt Man. Matt Man. Yeah, Matt Man. This is Matt Man signing off from Matt Man's Adventures right here at the Industry Factory. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do us a favor like Nightmare's Fear Factory on Facebook because without them, I couldn't have done this. Follow them on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Well, I don't have YouTube, but follow me on Facebook and uh, you'll see more great content coming soon. Thanks, everybody.